We will burn things to bring things back. Communities already exist. Just join them. Swear on the sword. Swear on the sword? Just gonna ask it and look in your eyes. Which Rick are we gonna see? I know which Rick we're gonna see. This is emotional. This is tense. No! <laughs> Ah, this is the Rick we get! Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Shows of Wisdom. And it's me, Divergent Carl. Yes, Divergent Wisdom. We're back. And today's topic is The Walking Dead. The ones who live The Walking Dead is definitely one of our favourite shows. Yeah. It's up there. It's, it's definitely up there. We haven't been watching all the spin-offs, mm -mm. but this spin-off with Rick and Michonne, we, of course, made a really big effort to try to watch. Yeah. And here we are. We have watched all the episodes. This is the last one. We haven't reacted to any of them except for this one. The so finale. we're going to... Yeah, the finale. So we're going to do our reaction. We're going to have a conversation about this. So I'm really, really, we, I think, together, are really looking forward yeah. to this one. It's been a long time. I hope you guys have been good. Yes. Hi. Uh, hello, everybody. It's been a long time. To give you guys some more context, this show right now is not being streamed in Europe, but we have traveled far and wide yes. to distant lands so that we can also partake. partake in the show, which I find it's crazy. I don't know why they've not simultaneously released it in, in Europe or the, at least the UK at the same time. I think it's only released in selective countries before yeah. we watch this one i will say that we've enjoyed it we've loved it it's had a different feel to the walking dead in general we haven't seen a lot of spin-offs anyway to really compare them to any of the no. spin-offs for me it's just had a different feel i think when something is six episodes rather than 10 or 15 episodes and when it's an hour long when it's shorter I feel like they've condensed a lot of things they don't have a lot of time to tell the story so they've mm -hmm. had to tell the story very quickly yeah. And I think it's progressively got better. I think the second episode was better than the first one. Yeah. The third one was better than, the, you know, the second. So I think it's progressively got better. And of course, the episode before, episode four, I think is one of the episodes where a lot of people are talking about episodes where Denai wrote episode, not directed, she wrote the episode. Yeah. And it was quite kind of like a theatre, a play. I think we spoke about when we watched it, we agreed that it was kind of like a play. It didn't yeah. have too many characters in it. It was literally those two really going back and forth. And it's, essentially, she was trying to pull him out of that place that he's been in for mm -hmm. eight years. The episode was her trying to get through, and eventually she got through. So we, we enjoyed the episode. I don't know if you yeah. want to add general thoughts of, of the sort of series as a whole. It's, like you said, it's felt more intimate than other Walking Dead series. Time, not spin-offs because yeah. we haven't watched any spin-offs yet mm. um but i would say i think thematically they have done well to build to world build in a or backfill for us i guess in a very short space of time sure yeah. where the walking dead went with its twenty thousand episodes per season they could have dragged out say episode one where rick which i think was really powerful was actually talking about you know unaliving thinking about unaliving oneself and they mm. had the warnings on screen and very very deep psychological and traumatic themes that you know we had to go through with rick and normally that would take i mean sometimes it's been a whole season of watching You're rick go show it down in, down and showing a very short space of time they've had to do it quick so that it feels a bit different, different yeah. but i don't mind they've done it well pace can speed up that's cool they made us enjoy characters they made us fall in love with characters Mm -hmm. in just one episode yes. rather than taking a whole season for us to like them and they've done that quite well like I said it's a different type of storytelling than they used to shorter series more content tight pack content rather than you know a, a whole episode of just get to know characters doing stuff mm -hmm. everything has a point now which makes it feel different because if you miss some then you're going to miss something. Yeah. You're going to miss something. You're going to miss something. Before we start, I will say that a lot of people have been interpreting the ones you live as literally life or death rather mm -hmm. than sort of that metaphoric or metaphorical meaning of life and death, you know, as in. Yeah. Especially when Rick spoke about the fact that he's already, he's, he's died. He died inside and he managed to learn to sort of die 
while he said living. he was though he was basically the walking dead yeah yeah so it, it's uh, you know it might not be what people think another note we've i think i can speak for both of us and say we both enjoyed the love story and the, the exploration yes. of love especially between the night and and um andrew the way they both acted yes and the fact that they've been away from each other longer than they've been together and they, their love is still so strong and i love the way they've explored their relationship and i feel that we know more about them and their relationship mm -hmm. watching this than we did some probably i wouldn't say no yeah i could say you'd argue we now know more about their love watching this episode yeah in the series than we do watching them during the walking dead yes potentially yes it's been that's probably been the biggest payoff, the one that we've all mm. been waiting for as the viewer to see Rick and Michonne or Rishone as they are lovingly mm. known on the internet Rishizzle. together again. And mm. for me personally, the way that they reunited felt really authentic in that yeah, you don't powerful. You all might imagine, oh, we're going to sit down and have tea, and I'm going to tell you everything that's happened in chronological. No, no, mm. they were in they're in the CRM, and they've got to like. Yeah, keep up that facade. Even do I like it? I like the fact that she even said in episode four, "Man, I've been dreaming of this moment that I reunite with you, and this is not what I expect. I expected at all." She even said it, and then working it yeah, through it's out loud. It's never perfect in Walking Dead. There's always some sort of screw up around the way. Predictions. I go first, or you yeah. go first? No, you go first. I think neither of them will die. I think what potentially might happen is that she goes in, she gets the evidence that Anne has left. Yes. Fine, but somehow I think, because we've seen the adverts, she somehow gets into the echelon briefing. And I think potentially it either ends with her seeing the briefing hey, or I'm potentially it ends with them trying to do something. They're trying to blow something up, trying to disrupt something, and they get caught. Oh, 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 oh. Or it doesn't work fully. What they want to do doesn't fully work, and maybe it ends like that. That's our thing. I don't know if they mean to finish this whole thing in one season because if they do and someone does die, or we we wanted to see the kids and you know, yes, be reunited. Yeah, that's that's what I think. I don't know if they're going to be brave enough to end any of the two main leads in the last episode of the mm -hmm. season. I don't know if they're going to do that. Yeah, I'm. I'm either way. I'm willing to be surprised because I've been surprised while watching this so far. Yeah, so, what do you think? I think, I thought, and I hoped, however you want to put it together, that this episode, Rick and Michonne together will make a decision to take out some of the CRM to prevent them from doing something worse. So I do think the Echelon briefing will be re received. I'm thinking maybe, obviously, Rick gets it face-to-face -face with John Locke. That's, that's how he'll always be known. And, and Michonne sees it by way of, she's got Jadis's armor yeah. on now so she can get into any room that she wants to and i think we saw that snippet where it says extraction points a part of me is really nervous especially with the scene i think what's her name thorn she is standing in a room and she's coming close to the window right and there's all the crm people standing outside think something's gonna happen i think Andrew. that's where rick and michonne are going to do something because okay. being forced to because it's something to do with alexandria mm -hmm. i think the stuff on the wall Looks like a sort so of you extraction think plan. Gonna come into play here. They don't know about Alexandria, but they're going to explore that particular region now, and they're going to they will find the Commonwealth potentially. Or have they always had somebody embedded in different places for years? Have they always been out there getting take doing yeah, reconnaissance? Yeah. The iron will bring the world back. We are coming for them. We're gonna get the dossier. Mm -hmm. We're gonna help the city stop them. Okay, here we go. I remember it all. What it was like. <laughs> who we were. Who we are now. Still making love. I know how to build things and I know how to burn things. Mm. It takes more than that at the end of the world. You tried to escape four times. Why are you here? Do you still love me? Always. Uh. All right. Stitched up their stuff. Yeah. Go home. Together. Okay. That's the plan. It's never that simple. So they was just want to expose stuff to the city. Basically, throw a grenade and let 
the city take care of whatever it needs to do. Sergeant Major Rick Grimes. You probably think I'm dead. All right. Oh, no, they moved too quickly into it. Yeah. Straight. He's already back. He's already back. We, we're probably just going to literally see the little snippets they've given, which is that she's jumping back in. That was happening within the first five minutes of the whole yeah. show. We're not going to see how they do things. They're going to fast forward a lot of things. That's how they're going to probably manage to accomplish a lot in this episode. Wow. Like I said, it is fast paced, right? Mm hmm. It is up to us, but not like Okufu said. Okufu, he, he was never really here. Hmm? This is the story that she's telling herself. Whatever this thing is, it's really bad. Show me the other way. Oh my lord, she doesn't believe in Okafor's stuff at all. Whatever this echelon stuff is, it's so bad that she has to convince herself that ok Okafor was wrong all along. Because at the end of the day, how are you repopulating the earth? It's always going to involve some sort of handmaid's tale crap, right? You think people are going to go willingly and want to have families in this kind of world? They might not want to. Mm -hmm. Superhero. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Wow, so she's just gonna walk around. It's so risky though. She's supposed to be dead. Mm, yeah, that's is that her place? Yeah. Stokes. Oh, wow. all the art. I think I think he was right, Gabriel, when he said you never really left Anne. Really? Yeah. She was still there. She was always she was still there really. She called herself named herself after Gabriel. Oh lord. So this guy does this too just to... He doesn't even have to do it. ten hog of getting involved. Yeah. I never had to do my six for citizenship because I... I never really became a citizen. What's that mean? The end of the world and the beginning of the world. And we're the dead ones, Rick. Oh gosh. They're kind of like them. But us, the other kind of dead ones, hmm? we have this. The sword that kills is the sword that gives life. And that's us. We're the sword. Wow. I alone decided the path ahead, and I alone want to feel the weight of it. The day before an operation. So that means it, there's an operation so tomorrow. I'm with you. Maybe even ask you to carry some of that weight. Uh-oh. Okay. Is he, is he going to be asked to do something? Carry some of that weight? Carry the weight of the decision-making, for sure. Like I, It's just some sort of twisted aspect of this. Shit, she's panicking. She can't find it. Gabriel. Gabriel. What is it? Gonna be like a map or something? Was it? She even sort of made. What was the the lion lion's name? Tiger's name? Oh, Ezekiel's tiger. Yeah. The necessity of the destruction. Wow. Wow. It's still not enough though. Someone could put that bit together. I'm gonna burn it at least, burn some. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's painted him, she's drawn him. Uh oh. Are you in there? Oh. Oh. Oh my lord. Oh my gosh. Uh, of course, uh, this had to happen. So now she's known. Uh, this is not even what she wanted to do. No. This was not in the plan at all. Put your gun on the table. Huh? I'm telling you, this is some cult. This is some bullshit. This is some dumb. Some guy somewhere decided. Prosthetic with the blade. In front of me, away from you. Uh, what is this bullshiznik? Prove yourself to me. Give me, give me ten presents. <laughs> I want you to reflect on your life. Why are you God? This guy is positioning himself like God. John, look. You left the island and you carried on. Because after this next moment, everything will change. What's the worst thing you did to make sure someone else survived? 
Oof. There's a lot of things. Ooh. Oh yeah. Huh. I killed someone with my teeth. I've given this briefing 2,533 times. And every time you change the story a little bit. There's never been someone like you. Never. What does that mean? Like him. It's the start of what's next. Hmm. Are we crazy? 35. Whoa. Oh, yeah, we well, remember. I grew up in Pittsburgh. The same day my alcoholic father broke my jaw. Whoa. I left home and landed a job at a VFW hall. So when I was 18, I signed up to fight. Do you know how many times Rick's had to sit in front of someone like this and have to, the governor, everybody, just get yeah, what? Tell me your story about why you're more important than everyone else. I could have let the world take me away. But I came back. Like you. Oh my gosh, he's talking like John Locke for real right now. I'm just thinking, just tell me this thing. Yeah, you know, why is it taking so backstory? long? <laughs> I'm just impatient. No, they're doing it on purpose. They're gonna, it's going to be revealed slowly throughout the episode, right? And it's going to be something to do with children. What is this? Why have you got a cute little bunny toy just laying around? Where are the kids? They can interact without speaking. That shows like how impersonal it is. You said you saw what the federal forces did at the beginning. I did. They bombed the cities. I made the decision to take them on ourselves. Second Civil War fought on good Pennsylvania ground. That's how he sees it, civil war. I evacuated our forces under the cover of night and let the dead overwhelm their troops. Wow. And that whole city. Mm -hmm. I saved Philadelphia by sacrificing Pittsburgh. Is that really true though? Or were they doing some- Never know, those are the choices you had. Sometimes things have to burn to bring things back. The sword that kills is the sword that gives life. No, this guy. I killed my best and a whole city so another could live. That's how he sees it. That doesn't make no sense. Why was the other city not going to live? Let me tell you the first secret, Grimes. Most likely the outcome is that we're all going to die. Hmm? Yeah, well, that's the end of all life. Mandatory tell us. Come on. Why is Michonne finding things out quicker? <laughs> getting more stuff done <laughs> the in the time it takes these two men to sit down and well, drink tea. Aspects of the child evacuation protocol. Discovered million strong dead masses out there. <sighs> People now have 14 or so years left on this planet. Who's making these calculations? Who made this calculation? This is why we do what we do. I think there's a few contradictions in what yeah. you said. We have over years had operatives enmeshed in the Portland school system facilitate an evacuation of selected children. CRM destroys communities for resources, for strategic superiority. And to ensure the city's secrecy and security. Oh. Isn't sure her child? It will Judith and RJ. Ten percent of the children in the city. They're gonna kill all the other children, there. We have embeds, spies in selected communities. Knew it. To monitor them. Wow. We sabotage them to influence their politics. This is the real villain all along. Up until recently, we supplied test subjects. This is the stuff in France. Omaha. Didn't, Didn't just die. die. We destroyed it. Along with this campus colony. We will destroy Portland. Wow. We tell the Civic Republic what the CRM does. Like the bombing. Whatever else they do. You don't leave people behind. Oh. Wow. This is the shit we do. Stakes are too high for freedom. With the city under CRM control and our alliance partners dead, we will march across this country and further eliminate any growing competition, take their resources, Flip and it. ensure supremacy. No. Maybe we get to survive. I'm thinking this. They need to, I need to be kill you right now. Right now, they're going to come for everybody. They're going to kill everybody and wipe them out. Yeah, he's not supposed to have a, his radio on or anything. You expecting a call? Oh no! There's so much risk. She went through this. Thought it would be good to talk it out. I think that the next leader in the next decade 
That might be you. And you came back. You've become a powerful story. Oh. You're even. Who's the person closest to you who's died in all of this? Your son. My son? Mm. He's who I saved. Tearing out that man's throat. But you couldn't save him in the end. No. No. This is emotional. This is tense. Oh my gosh. What do you say? Don't try and stab him yet, Rick. No. You gotta wait. You will burn things to bring things back. Why do you have to burn anything? This, these communities already exist. Just join them. But you don't. You want to be like a colonizer, conqueror. You want to kill them and take everything. Swear on the sword. Swear on the sword? I want to stab you. I'm just gonna ask it and look in your eyes. He knows he can't lie. It's gonna show. The show. The show and sword. All the stuff you're thinking about. Which Rick are we gonna see? I know which Rick we're gonna see. No! <laughs> this is the Rick we get! <laughs> no. Whoa. Come on, Rick. Don't let this John look do this. That's it. I lost myself. Hmm. My wife brought me back. Yes. We're not dead. <laughs> you are. Okay. I think someone's been hanging out with Getz because those were bars. All right, Rick. Yeah. Wow. What happens now, though? You just killed the leader of the CRM. You just killed the head of the snake, but the snake is going to... It's like a three-headed snake. That's what happens that thought now. is ready. She's it's even more thought. unstable. He's bought himself some time because... Oh, that shot of them looking down in the thing. That's his body. Oh, <laughs> when he opens it and he shows it to her, she's like, what's in here? What's my, this is my wedding gift. This is my honeymoon gift. Oh. I didn't order that, but... The gift I wanted. This is the shot. Oh. Of course it isn't Michonne. It's another man. No, of course it wasn't never Michonne. I know people, I saw some people saying it was Michonne. They were taller than Rick, this person. And broad shoulders. Rick just jumped across the table. <laughs> That's the guy. <gasps> That's what I need to see at WrestleMania. I need to see people oh. jumping over tables. Nah, that was a, that's the first ta over table jump I think we've seen in The Walking Dead. It was worth it. He's like, why? Do you talk to each other? Are you meant to address one another? Because that one didn't say nothing to Michonne. Mm. Speaking. Oh, come on, Lord. <laughs> you know what, Michelle's so stressed because she's thinking, I've buzzed him, why isn't he getting back to me? Oh, my Lord, what is she going to do? Lug. But these guys are not supposed to, what, they don't say anything to each other. I didn't see nothing, I didn't hear nothing. Go about my business, right? Mm-hmm. Good. I hope. Just. Now, oh, why is he looking down? Oh? Why does he have to look down for right at that moment? So now we've got a fight with the lift open when we could have fought with the lift shut. Thing is, why did Rick need to fight? Because that guy was probably didn't want to fight. Oh no. Fuck. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh Rick. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay, okay. Because he's got... Ah! Rick! Is this yours? It's a wedding gift. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's over the bad guy, isn't she? Yeah, Is she's she... looking for him. He's not there. She didn't believe him. She was always a bit like iffy. Like I don't know if I believe Rick a hundred percent. How'd you come up with this? I knew it. Nat was gonna come in handy in the fire. It's 
horse, ran it down. Oh, Thorn. Why would you have to literally... They called her Thorn. She's literally going to be a Thorn in his side. It switched. The roles are reversed. She's like, let's stay. And she's, she's like, oh, man. We can go. We can go. Not seeing our kids growing up. No, we can't, but I just I think about that time. I just want to go back. Oh, is it going to die? We are back. It's true. You know, a lot of ways you're already back. This is the shit we do. <laughs> That's the next season, season two. It's called The Shit We Do. <laughs> the Walking Dead, The Shit uh, We Do. That's, a, that's an album. Oh, whoa. Uh, they're going to choose to kill the CRM because only they know this plan. No one else in the rest of the city knows anything. What happened there? He left it there on purpose for her. Oh, this is not going to go to plan. No. Oh, my Lord. I can't imagine it. Oh, I'm tired. I don't want more cliffhangers and strung out, <laughs> drawn out. Just let them do some good stuff. Or oh, the next season's going to be having them having to go to Portland and stop it. She's going to figure some stuff out yes. and stop it from happening. Yes. She heard the briefing and decided this is the way. She went crazy like, look, rather than seeing it as, you know, we're killing people and taking their mm. stuff. I'm the bad person. She bought into it. These guys didn't... Hmm. A new knife. Sword. <laughs> knife, you know. They're true. <laughs> I prefer the katana, though, but yeah. that sword is, is cool. He's a walker already. She's figured it out now. Lot got to be a zombie. A walker. A walker. <laughs> Dawn's going to realize some things. And people are going to get blown up for real. Oh my gosh. I just hope they get away. Well. Uh. The thing is, these guys are willing to die for the cause, for love, for their family, for everything. She's stupid. She should have run. You wanted to live? You should have run. Run. Two, three, bam! Split. Who's she, she has to shoot? She's gonna shoot one of you. Uh, oh, yeah, she was wow. too shocked. She was too shocked when she saw him. Okay, good. We need the stuff on over you. Good, clever. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Oh! They did an Okafor. They had to get rid of everyone who would be, who knows this plan to kill people and take their stuff. Just a little longer. It breaks up quick. She survived too! She survived. So they've got to get masks as soon as possible. They can't breathe that shit in. Oh. Wow. It's all a lie what this guy told you. He's been living out, they've been living out there 20 years nearly. Or how, how many, yeah, 15 yeah, yeah. years. Yeah. No disease, people aren't dying of disease. Clean water, food, they grow food on the land. Like our ancestors did. It's the fact that you, the only way for you to, to survive is by wiping out all other humans. It's just, just like, what? Who told you that was what? the way? Just bring people in, unify people. Like, it's just... It's proper colonisation. Yeah. Proper. It's proper capitalism. It's yeah. either me or you. It's either win or lose is either it's just no there's oh, togetherness the and come go. on michonne there we go come on rick you're gonna have to make a decision to save rick or fight her come on michonne oh my god no way the dead world love is dead flick it up michonne with your feet love doesn't die there we go i knew it bam Woo! Beautiful. Die. 
hurry up and go save Now him. Rick. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's in. Woo! Oh man. I think he like went under something. What? There we go. Ooh. Look at his hand. It's come off. It was already off. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's fake wine, it's weapon. Love doesn't die! It doesn't. Yes! Yes! Oh no! See? Uh, oh, now she knows. Now she understands. Wait, well done. No! No! Get off her leg! Please, thank you. Mm -mm. There's too many of them still. He's got one arm and shit. Years of operational secrecy indicate infantry units did not participate in the atrocities perpetrated by these highest levels of the CRM. They shared well the information. Done. Free movement has been established for the Republic. <laughs> Free movement. It will, and the city will now welcome new citizens. Oh my god, are we getting our reunion? Don't tell us. Right now in the council's hands, the CRM's priority has shifted beyond the CR's to This is just how we should have how been. How it should have been? Why wasn't it like this? <laughs> they let us have it. Of course they ran to their mum. They got to meet him for the first time. Got him back. You told me to. Yeah, you did. There you go. Say hi. You're the brave man? I am. <laughs> she got her sword like her mom, baby. He's got your hat still. <laughs> yep. Hey, look, they're bringing them food. Beautiful. Beautiful, Lillian. Beautiful. Well done. Well done. That's how you end it. That's how you end it. That is how you end it. You've given everybody what they wanted. And they, you know what? We thought it wasn't going to happen in one episode. And a lot of people would have thought if they do it all in one episode, it wouldn't be good because it would be rushed and all of these mm -hmm. things. But somehow... They managed to do it in a way where I'm, I'm like, do you know what? That's believable. Because it wasn't to bring down the CRM. That no. wasn't their goal. If it was to bring down the CRM, they couldn't have it in one episode. No. If their goal was literally to take out those selected people and tell the Republic, civil Republic, what the hell's been going down. Yes. And then everything would just fall into place because apparently there's 100,000 people. So even if you have 2,000 soldiers, elite soldiers, the 50,000 normal soldiers are not going to have it from the 2,000 no, no, elite no, no, soldiers no, no, no. anyway. No. So it's like, yeah, it, it made sense, and I'm glad that we got what we wanted. Um, there doesn't need to be a season two. No. It's, it's done. That's it. It's, it's completed. Rick is back, and he's, and he's back with his family. He's done what he needs to do. The CRM is now no longer a threat. They're actually just a normal government. Yeah. Just a good, I guess normal, the good guys, I guess. So. Yeah, and I don't think Andrew or Deny. I think they wanted to give fans closure and wrap it up. Yeah. I, I don't think they were fully. I mean, if, if there is a season two, I'm still for it, mm -hmm. but I'm not quite sure if that was the intention. But yeah, that was a really good episode. I'm, yes. I'm impressed. I think it was better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Because I didn't think we were going to get that at the end at all. So yeah. I'm really, ha I'm really happy, man. Earlier on in the season, I just say. I hope this ends with them landing in a helicopter near Alexandria and they get to see the kids again. Because for me, that was always going to be one of the potential endings, that mm. this will be wrapped up one season in six hours. They did everything they needed to do. Yeah, yeah. It's, they did well to do that as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I can only go back and say that I'm impressed with how easily I've transitioned between the long-form Walking Dead where things are dragged out to this yeah. short form. And I think I've transitioned my brain really well to this. Yes. Where, and I think 
maybe we have less attention span now or something. Who knows? Skipping through certain things and going straight to the point. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed how condensed and concise it was. I like the characters. I enjoyed it. I knew Thorn was going to have to have a role in the end. I really enjoyed her character and the actor who portrayed her. John Locke at the end, that scene made me feel so uncomfortable with what he was saying and what he was so at ease saying. He was so comfortable saying what he was saying and all the things he had done. And I was like, this guy is saying the most terrifying things. Heinous. In the most relaxed, you know and chilled, monotone voice. He, <laughs> like, you couldn't, you couldn't <laughs> come out and say that to a lot of people. That's why good cults don't work. You have to tell one yeah. person at a time, convince them, and then they don't talk to each other. Yeah. That's the, esch the echelon briefing, they're not, they're, they're not supposed to be A's, right? No. So the echelon briefing is not really supposed to be said to A's. <laughs> and if the echelon briefing was said to the Rick before Rick saw Michonne, mm. he would have went down differently. Because yes. the Rick before Michonne was a B. I mean, he, he, technically he's an A, but by the time all the oppression, and he's, he's been, yes. basically been broken down to a B, Michelle was saying, "Let's go home now," and he's like, "We can't go home. I have to stay." Like he's been broken <laughs> down into a B. No, no. Obviously, the real Rick, the Rick that we know, he's a real A. Yeah. But if this briefing was done when Rick was a B, it would have been easy, you know. And yeah. the reason why Thorn took the briefing the way she took it is because deep down, as much as she's an A, she's not really an A. She throughout this whole season, she keeps saying, "I'm not like Okafor. I'm not like Okafor." Yeah. Even at the beginning, the first episode when they were given. I Good talk about point. Okafor. She was like, "You, Rick Grimes, not me. I just want to be part of the system. Keep my head down." She's been saying that for that for like the whole season. She doesn't want anything to do with any running away. You, Rick, you tried to run away. Mm -hmm. You showed me that I can't run away. I'm gonna use you as my guinea pig. And now that I can't run away, this is it. I'm gonna make this work. So she's always been that character. She showed us that from the day they built. So I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm glad that she had a part to play. It was really interesting. It's like. Her whole, I mean, her name was Thorn. <laughs> she literally yeah, was Thorn in his side. Mm. People were just so willing to accept, based on that, what we've talked about before, with it, that gap in knowledge and you add fear into it. Mm. Look at the outside world, there's walkers. People are going to cease to exist in 14 years. When Rick heard that, he, he took a little step back. And I was like, wait a second. Mm. We've been following these guys in their communities. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm like, well, it's been more than a decade I'm, since. Thinking, who's giving, who's, 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 deciding country, this? who's country's numbers? Who's telling you these things? No, like, it's you, some kind you, of lie. You guys have all this equipment, all these helicopters and all these guns and, and you're still scared of people who just were zombies. Man, just shoot that. Like, come on. Come on. Like, no, they just want to. He wanted to control, control people. Because yeah, look, yeah, everyone's yeah. living off the land in Alexandria. They've got mm. their small communities. They're fine in the Commonwealth. But this guy, part of the CRM, he wants to have some sort of like capitalistic. Let's go back yeah. to the great days, and everyone works in offices in the city, and, and yeah. like you can't. He's trying then, to create scare, yeah, yeah, fear mongering. The problem, the thing is about The Walking Dead. It's so it's such a good show to watch to examine life and society mm -hmm. because it's it, it it reflects it and resembles it in so many ways as well. Yeah. You know what we're just seeing is how governments are formed, you know, and how people, how literally the world is constructed and sort of designed to benefit a few individuals obviously at the very top who just mold the world in their image this world was going to be molded in bill's image how he thought no one was challenging him he didn't have a council no or anything like that it's just his decisions i was like whoa okay but i'm yeah. glad i'm surprised like i said he got his comeuppance <laughs> so he jumped over yeah, that table beautiful the way this, <laughs> this whole episode was shot, where the tension was rising yes. throughout. I thought we were going to see the kids show up, but the more the kids kept, you know, the more children she saw, the more fear Michonne had. Michonne was like, listen, you don't just need to get the echelon briefing. We now need to blow the thing up. Yeah, we need to get rid of everybody that's going to. We now need to, you know, after seeing what she saw, she, you know, she felt that she had to, we now had to increase the levels. And after Rick heard what he heard, like I said, if Rick heard this before yeah. he met with Michonne, he would have went with it. He would have been too broken to fight it. He would have been like, okay. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Because Rick's always had Alexandra. And maybe if he heard that Alexandra was going to be... Yeah, was I just think... Be on the if he had, maybe he still would have reacted this way. If way. he heard the briefing that 
Michonne heard, because mm. I'm sorry you're sitting there and you hear, we'll save 15% of the children and everyone else can just burn and die. Horrible deaths. Die by walkers or you're going to die by chlorine gas or mm. bombing. What? Yeah. It, the fact that they, yeah they could if he'd heard that his his humanity would have come out well we'd hope so what's in store for Denai and Andrew are they going to stick around for more walking their stuff is there going to be spin-offs are they going to join the other groups is there going to be season two is is this it for them have they done their their time who knows yeah. but if they if there's a season two I'll definitely watch it if the new season is centered around the Grams family we get more dialogue from RJ yeah and it's so, it so beautiful to see them reunited. It's what we wanted. Very, very emotional. Reunions with families, you never know how it's going to go. Yeah. But it's, what, it's right for them they, and their little... They did it in a minimal way. They didn't, like, yeah. show Alexandra. They didn't land in Alexandra and have to do all the props. They literally said, in a, in a field. Yeah. Just the field and the you 4 And that's yeah. it. Nothing else. No one else. They gave us what we wanted, and that's the main thing. People, co- I can't see how people co- can complain no, because no. they managed to give you what in an, one hour. Take down people who people listen. People were split in two camps. Go back and take down CRM because you have to. Blah blah blah. Forget the CRM. Just go and get your kids because they're the most important. We got both. Yeah. Shut your mouths. <laughs> drink some English tea, mm-hmm. and be happy. Yeah, that's what I say. Good show. I agree. I give it. What do we keep it? I give it eight out of ten. I give it an eight out of ten. It's a really good show. You're gonna give it a ten, aren't you? No, I was gonna say nine out of nine point five. <laughs> nine point five. It was close to a ten as possible yeah. because I really feel when you do include actors who played characters for a long, long time and you let them write for themselves, mm. and no denies she's already a writer and a theatre actress, so that the intimacy, the the depth we got, all of the kind of main points that you want to hit along the way. Ending of Jadis, they reunite, they reunite the kids, they take down the serum. All these main points were, te- were done and done really well whilst introducing to us to really great characters like Nate, like Okafor, even Thorn. in a way. We needed to have that diversity of thoughts and people thinking differently. And yet, ultimately, it was this beautiful love story. And that was exactly what <laughs> Michonne was saying to Thorn while she was in her ass saying love doesn't die yeah. and you understand that was her trauma before Thor's trauma was love is dead yeah, after, yeah. because of her, the world ending. the world yeah yeah it's interesting that she, while she was saying that the last image she saw before she died was them standing tall over her love in love and everything around her was dying her, she, she was dying walking everywhere and the two people the two most powerful people that did all of that mm-hmm. and they did it all because of what you guys were all got taken down you all died. The CRM transformed. And died. what was the reason? One reason why all of that happened was love. Yeah. Their love was so strong. And yeah, it kills. That it, it defeated you all. Not your anger, not your fear, not your yeah. wanting to defend this and protect this. No, no. Their love for each other drove them to do all of this. Yes. Love, love doesn't. No, come on. Love is a, it, love is the strongest. What do you guys think, man? Yes. As usual, guys, let us know your thoughts on this one. Yes. We clearly really enjoyed it, and we probably could talk more. We might upload another video. Yeah, we might have to have more discussions. Yeah, we've literally just watched it, and we're giving our thoughts fresh. Yeah. This is making me want to maybe go back and watch the Daryl and the Negan and Maggie show. Yeah. Give it a, give it a go. I'd give it a chance now, maybe. but I know it connects more um, to this show. Negan is not allowed to be rehabilitated. The Negan rehabilitation is too much. Is, is a lot. It's a lot. And a sometimes lot. I'm going to go back to how, how much he enjoyed what he did. Mm. Yeah, I'm like, hmm, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let us know your thoughts yes. as usual. What do you guys think of this show? Give me your positives. Give us your negatives yeah. as well. We really enjoyed what it. What did they miss? And if you didn't get what you want, tell me why. Mm-hmm. What you're looking forward to. Give us some insights that you guys might have watching this show. For now, we've you talked out. Yeah. We're out. Yeah. Yes. Have a good day. Have a good week. Have a good month. And we'll hopefully see you next time. And I wanted the reunion. <laughs> and then I love a Shawshank Redemption finish, which is get them together, see the emotion, and then pull away into a God's eye view. That last image, it's the visual expression of them making the whole world theirs, if they want to, and they did. I knew it, Dad. I knew you were still out there.